this being so, it is not strange that the artist is especially interesting case. The psychological the psychologist uses an analytical method. The artist's life cannot be otherwise than full of conflicts, for two forces are otherwise at war within him. On the one hand, the common human longing for happiness, satisfaction, and security in life, and on the other, a ruthless passion for creation, which may go so far as to override every personal desire. Eh. <laughs> That's from Young. Modern man in search for a soul. Check it out. Make sure. Don't lose my soul in this stuff. Ah. How's it? Hang loose. Hey. Okay. I was actually going to make this very super short because I didn't expect to have news upon what I'm really searching for in this case. And there is. <laughs> I just got back. Apologies, I made the last one. I was getting tense, man. We read four hours of King Lear. I'm still editing, and you shall see that soon. And here we go. To the news. I don't know why Manala visited. <laughs> yeah, give us big ideas. Okay. First off, in the news, we have a Kahuku's Dan Inge to fight Kelvin Kataka in UFC featherweight. Play anime yaka here on in Mia leads the main world hopefuls in revenue. Governor? Or is this the governor mayor battle or is this ancient? Fact the sound stuff. <laughs> Here's the little cat out of the anyways. News bag. No. Uh, news. No. That's the August first. Said first. No. September. So there it is. Yeah. <sighs> now this is delayed and economic. Oh's headline notice it's kind of stand mm -hmm. like, well, a little political stuff going on. I don't have much political science. So it's gonna end. So I'll try to be brief. Delay extends economic woes. So there the newspaper here is your you know, your fourth estate. It's this is mass media or what is it? Mainstream mainstream media. This is controlled. <laughs> We're getting the conspiracy theories. Just, It'll shut you on YouTube, they'll shut you down. Like, oh no. I thought they shut me down for being a dick. <laughs> Oops. I'm trying not to schmear. Pump up the numbers. Subscribe now. Uh, I'll, I'll bet Hyperbowl is cool if you're fun. You know, I'm trying to be fun about it. That's the goal. Don't stress. Be fun. Okay? <laughs> I didn't mean to get so much of the news. But they're focusing on economic woes because the fourth estate wants to look balanced with what the decision going on. I don't know how much influence this is an island okay so yeah and the unions kind of control the island and most of the workers in the state work for the state state workers so you get a little feel of what you got going on here and then there's a the gigantic tourist industry and that's kind of what they're looking at because they're not happy about anyways on my own editorial Let's read what it actually says. The proof is in the pudding. It ain't true unless it's in print. All the news that's fit to print. <laughs> Creep myself out. Reaction, quote, from Allison Schaefer's, who writes for the advertiser, star advertiser. Memories of the past. Reaction was mixed Monday following Governor David Inge decision to push back plans to use pre-arrivals testing programs to reopen Hawaii tourism. The long way of saying what I've been trying to cover, they've been in, they're debating this inside their, their mayor, governor, dome of silence for about 
I don't know, like oh, over a week, collecting information, keeping the antenna open. Inge said, here it is, drum roll. Inge said Monday, today, no, today's Tuesday, yesterday. <laughs> Inge said Monday that the state will wait until September first. September first. Push first. Here you go. There it is. It's August first. Basically, it's been pushed. Oh, September. No longer August first. It's pushed back to September first. There it is. In the program, in messengers with. To your Facebook questions is Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID-19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. Good morning, Doc. Morning. All right, the first question is from Lynn Higa. She wants to know, it is still unclear to me how people can be cleared of the virus and can stop self-quarantine without taking another test. How do they rule out that they haven't just become asymptomatic or less symptomatic and can still infect others? Well, there are, have been different protocols, especially for people that have to go to long-term care facilities, other places like that, where we get two consecutive tests on two consecutive days that are negative. But once you've had 14 days of the disease and gone through that process, virtually everybody that's been studied has been low to no risk. So uh, it's all about assessing overall risk. It's not perfect in a virus situation or a pandemic situation, but that's been sufficient to keep people safe. All right, the next viewer is from Brandy Domingo. Her question is, with the growing number of cases here in Hawaii, will there be another shutdown? If so, when? If not, how do we flatten the numbers again? Uh, not at these rates. We flatten the numbers by contact tracing everyone and contact testing all close contacts. I do think that we're going to ratchet it back a, not a notch or two. What I would recommend, and I expect will be recommended statewide, is we have no gatherings greater than 10 people. That was working very well. People are looking carefully right now to see what kind of uh, capacity we should be allowing at exercise facilities, bars, restaurants, and so on. Uh, like I said, we were doing very well earlier. We have not reached a point yet, at least not in discussions as of yesterday and the day before, where we have to go back to the safe at home uh, situation where basically people were, were home isolated. So it's not yet. And I don't anticipate that, given the fact that we've come through the July surge, that being July 4th. We're now about 10 days out, and the number should start declining again. Let me follow up on that. On the U.S. There... mainland, we continue to see uncontrolled outbreaks and surges. This includes the highest number of daily cases in California, Texas, Arizona, and Florida, and increasing cases in Nevada, Gay said, not in that voice. As we speak right now, the outbreaks on the mainland are not in control, and we don't believe that the situation would change significantly. I think it will spook everybody sufficiently, and there will be uh, a very significant step backwards. That's why it's so important that everyone wear masks, wash their hands, stay continuously uh, socially isolated and, and distanced. That's, that's really worked very well over the last several months. So if we do that, we won't have to worry about this. All right, the next question is from Alyssa Kuomoto. She wants to know, are we seriously going to reopen all schools as the number of cases keep rising? Well, it's, it's serious as a heart attack. I mean, this question of whether or not children can stay in isolation at home for months to years on end, that is a, a great challenge. They've given options to each school. I don't think anything's going to be perfect. As I was over down at a... Uh, a town hall meeting yesterday in Kau, socially distanced, and we talked about it. That was a big concern. I think that there probably is going to be continuous discussion about whether we have to get to six feet separation. I know the superintendent, who's very excellent, is working on that, and whether we wear masks or not in schools, which, again, we basically need to do. Young kids can't wear masks successfully because they just won't do it below a certain age, like eight or nine years old. Uh, schools are going to be a, a rough ride this year. The bigger concern right now is not the children, because children have really not manifested serious disease, but the teachers and staff. Um, and then, of course, if children get it, they can spread it to their parents and grandparents. So I think this is a, um, a work in progress. Okay, Chris King wants to know, what is the goal? Zero new cases every day, 
You guys keep moving the goalposts, so we don't know what we're working towards. This is super serious. People are losing their lives because we are still shut down. Yeah, the, the goal is to mitigate the spread of disease so much that we keep the numbers low so we never overwhelm our hospitals. And month over month, we get closer to an immunization or a vaccination so that we don't have mass casualties. Truth be told, if we hadn't taken action, we were looking at over 4,500. It looked like 4,700 plus fatalities uh, by the end of April. And so we've mitigated that. And also people should be aware. I know everyone's focused on this movement of the date to September 1st, but there was virtually no activity compared to the past for travelers coming to Hawaii. Even if we had opened up and we had a couple thousand people come here, and even if we could do it safely, Two or 3,000 travelers as compared to 30,000 is not really adequate to open up the tourism economy and hotels. So it is really difficult right now globally, and our focus, or my focus anyway, is to keep people alive and safe. That will be the main focus, and then we'll get the economy going again as soon as there's economic activity that can be done safely. All right, there you have it, Lieutenant Governor and Dr. Josh Green. Of course, he did his... Mm -hmm. And if you don't abish... We own all the policemen and the National Guard. Scared. No, it's not like that. So anyways, um, well, we're missing the circuit board. Tough. I ain't going surfing anyways. I'm too blind to surf. <laughs> I can surf into the water. I can't see the wave. You gotta see the waves. And if and your solution is contact lenses. I tried that a few times. You're sitting there trying not to lose your contacts. Well, wipe out. I lost my contact. I stuck with scuba and snorkeling. Okay, here we go. Because that was all about me. Here we go. So, they did seem to make the decision that error, error in the bill. <laughs> Left. I still got King Lear to edit. Good lord. Four hours of King Lear, what am I gonna do? Okay. Safe or dollars? What's the pressure, what's the more primer for the decision? Apparently right here, we're going on safe, right? Health versus dollar. What's more important to you? So, you know, well, the security of your safety, right? What's more important to you? Uh, so, apparently they're, and of course, when you look at the, you know, the cage box fighting, that's going to be when, when election, it's just, uh, the rest of the reason I kind of pointed that out. Remember, this is all looked through their decisions, they very well, very well could be looking through the lens of election. Because if you make a wrong decision now, bye-bye voters, I'm sure of it. And this is going to be a tough one because you can't please everyone. And there's already this side and that side. No. So I'm not going to be okay. I'm taking it too long. Stop. You got time limit. Okay, wait, wait. There's a couple of quote I think was in here. I mean, oh. we're cover. Here's somebody I don't know who. Apparently, there's a toy. Coming from Utah, where we actually get tested. Just to be sure, for safe. The fig. Don. Utes. And I think it is that's a sign of response and to you. Absolutely it. The fact that Williamson said, 14, quote, we have begun this, so that's why we're going to do this for 15 days. We can't travel. We're both teachers. My balls. Sympathies. Steeger. <laughs> we can't once, God help the hearts, <laughs> travel locked and fall start here. So, this is the only get to the school in our son. So this is okay, the only time we can get to see even on national oh, your son. So it's nine quarantine name for it's worth it seventeen. So worth being guy the Allah being quarantined or they could okay. I guess. So not all of this tell them feel that way or yeah, whatever. But still I have visitors oh there are the visitors. I don't know if Okay, two thousand were showed up who were visitors. Because other people they five hundred pay money for us. And take it to be obviously the engine first to pay down. Airplane. Kawhi's core cool idea. You get to Hawaii, you get there, you have to get the 
go to Corona of the whole four. And they got and pretty you, good. You know, the spacing go out of design, see a lot of them off, and you know, in that resort area. So you know, the place and the area. And they have some cool resorts. They got some five, five star stuff in Kauai. Kauai. Yeah, so, just thought. Kauai. Well, that's a Kauai's my favorite island. Now everyone go there and ruin it. <laughs> uh, we hope Hawaii works out the kinks that pre-evolved test yeah yeah that's what they're kinks it hasn't even gotten started I, I think that's really good compromise oh, compromise hmm. so they're going to start relying on testing they're relying on testing and contact tracing contact tracing where they Oh, so you, so you have the virus, mm, you have the symptoms, and we're going to get some treatment for you, if there is any left. And tell me, who were your last contacts? <laughs> I think I went to the grocery store, so there was about uh, 50 random people there, and then I tracked over there, and then I talked to somebody, so there's a person. <laughs> Shivers. <laughs> hey, doctor. My doctor contacted me and said, "We're not going to do our, we're not going to do our physical, you know, I, you know, the, the annual physical kind of thing. We're not going to do our appointment in person. We're going to do it via phone." <laughs> okay, fine. We did the very, you know, like kind of a special Skype thing. So, how are you feeling today? Did you take your blood pressure? I'm like, uh, that was your job. <laughs> That's right. You can't do that now. You can't do height, weight, blood pressure. You can't do the basic. <sighs> but I think about it. She has to see a bunch of patients. She's moving to. Great, I gotta get a different doctor. But it, she has to see a bunch of patients. Could you imagine if she caught something? She has to contact her whole patient list. That's her whole black book of customers. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa, that's bad. I mean, ouch. But she's fine. I'm fine. Except my potassium levels are low, so I'm going to be eating bananas. I've got a bunch. Yes, we have a bunch of bananas. Okay, so here it is. Okay, we were planning a phased approach to reinstate our service to the islands next month with some of our employees planning to return next week, Chun said. Whatever that is. Spoken for Alaska Airlines. <clears throat> to return the this return to work plan that's what they're calling it will be affected by the delay of the pre-travel testing program until September 1st that's a lot to say pre-travel testing program until September 1st September 1st wait another month buy a bag of cookies or what do you call those goldfish put them in a bowl Fish them out like a cat. Don't die. Because cats will eat your face. <laughs> I learn all kinds of stuff on the internet. Hawaii? I don't have a cat. Cockroaches will eat my face. Hawaiian Airlines, which is one of the Hawaii's largest employers, also selling scaling back plans to reinstate several North American rhythms. So what? Airlines, they're worried. So airline industry too, right? Hotel industry, airline industry, tourist industry. It's all going to hell. Get your damn dirty paws off me. You damn it's like dirty we may ape. hang on up to about 20 miles an hour. Because we can't they were forecast to okay. ease off to about that's 15 it. miles an hour. And that's definitely going to be the case this by tomorrow. But for today, hopefully they hang on to the 20 that the forecast models are now showing. But, but if you violate regardless, it's quarantine, it's a little bit weaker than what we've seen the last couple of days. So it's going to be feeling to a bit warmer. That high to, to the north of us is pushing fine. further to the north. And as that moves well, away from us, we're seeing our trade winds ease off ever so slightly. Now we're definitely not seeing the rainfall easing off. The reason is we have a 
approval disturbance that's lining up with that low level traffic well, we going to go back to that over the state yeah, yesterday yeah, we continues with us this morning and so does the rainfall to uh, the radar blocking some of the rain that we're seeing coming through on Kauai the heaviest shower actually right here just to the uh windward areas just around the Kaaba area as you can see some of the yellows there most of the showers that we've seen this morning have been light to moderate with the grains really dominating but again that's possible with the slight instability that we could see some of those heavier showers develop so do be prepared for that 30 percent chance of rain through tomorrow and then we'll start to dry out as those disturbances move away from the state by tomorrow afternoon cross and christine back over to you this is a people only 10 people now and they're so busy even if you open operate and well there's so much on them saying open it up don't focus and anyway gig right <laughs> screw you the opening is my whole yeah the base uh lieutenant who is an md lead i'll include his stuff the governor this is going to be long be like it in here so well again not going to help you know thousand visited a day it's not going to be that big a visit them economically it's not so dynamic come back like we take long long time sick yeah it's Oh, that's it. <laughs> so much for making it short. Hey, hang loose and aloha.